What's next? Yeah. So next, Tevin Knox. So you know, I, I know a lot of I know Nevin Knox has been up and down the whole year, mm-hmm. but um, you know, you know, I would say he's probably mostly been down. His shooting has been pretty bad. He's been in the beginning of the season. He was like awful. Um, but you know, I always used to trash Frank, even though he's a young guy also. But I never trash Knox, and I think the major reason why is because he's super skilled. He's a three-layer scorer. He could drive to the rim, he could pull up, and he could shoot the three. And I think that the biggest issue with him, and I've been saying this all along, is two things. Number one, he needs to get his strength up, particularly in his legs, because he looks a little wobbly out there, and that's why I think his reaction time on defense, getting back in time, he doesn't have the le- the core leg strength, mm. you know, to compete on the defensive end in this like in you know he's night yeah and he's nineteen and you know he gets bodied too much so I think that's the problem with him and I think um you know the other problem with him besides um besides that is that you know the game is still very fast for him you know what I mean mm-hmm. like you know the, you know in the, in college they score 30, 60 points a game and you win in the NBA if you don't score a hundred. You know, granted, it's an eight-point difference, but, like, the shot clock is 30. Uh, it's longer in college. The rules are different. You know, you know, the game is much faster in the NBA. And I think when the game is coming so fast to someone, it throws off their rhythm. And, their, and it throws off their rhythm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's why I think he's been so inconsistent from, the, from, the, from the, uh, the three and just his shot in general. His mechanics are fine. We know he can shoot the ball. He, he, hits, he hits tough shots a lot. Um, he's got a nice floater. You know, I just think that, you know, Knicks fans need to be patient with him. And I don't say this about Frank because Frank doesn't show me any glimpses. But I think Knicks fans have to be patient with him um, and, uh, you know, let him grow into his body more and let him let him let the game slow down for him a little bit. And I think, um, you know, that would be big for, for his development. Okay. Pre- appreciate the call, man. Uh, me, me and you got a chance to chill with Ari during the watch party, man. Yeah. It was a good time, man. Good. Cool, uh, Ari's a good dude, man. So shout out to Ari. Uh, what, what was your takes on, on his comments on, on Kevin Knox? He needs to gain strength on his legs. Yeah. And that's going to help him a lot on a defensive end, mainly post-ups. Uh, I do agree with – I agree with 90% of what he said. The only thing I don't agree with sometimes is reaction time. I, mm-hmm. I do feel – I mean, maybe that can be the, the speed of the game could be his lack of reaction time, but he didn't react that much in college as well. Yeah. So I don't think – I think that just has to be – you just hope he adjusts right. eventually. And he's able to read the game faster and in in that regard. But everything else he said, I, I yeah. agree. Yeah, no, I agree with him in that. You know, Knox is definitely a capable three-level scorer. I think we've seen it at times this season, and we've definitely seen some of it tonight. I think he also needs to – sometimes he kind of telegraphs his moves Mm -hmm. before he finishes, so he kind of forces the issue a lot, you know, which which leads to a lot of – if he's not fouled, it's going to be either a terrible shot or a turnover. So I think he needs to get a a little bit more crafty in that regard. The shuffling of the feet. Shuffling of the feet as well. Um, I definitely agree with you there. Defensively, like we said, once he gets his weight up, I think that could help a lot of the defensive issues. His conditioning definitely needs uh, needs some improvement going into next year. You know, definitely want to see him out there putting a full 48 minutes together on a consistent basis. Yeah. You know, sometimes we see it. Sometimes he disappears after the first half. That's a fact. You know. It's a, and sometimes he rotates well, and sometimes he's just like, ah. Yeah, and sometimes he's, <laughs> he's just completely out in, out in Mars. Yeah, he, he know? goes play to play sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you, you hope, I, you just hope. You just hope he puts it all together. At yeah. I, I, I think he will, though, man. Yeah. I, I think he will. Frank, I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't know if he's even going to have give him the time to, to get it all together. I don't know if, he, if, if we're going to give him the time to get it together. But I, th- I think Knox... Uh, could definitely could come around. I know GC in the chat definitely disagrees, but I think I think Knox would definitely get it get it together. 